come back. You don't need that. A uh, couple more notes on week two before we transition over to some NBA talk. We saw a lot of injuries, man, and we thought we could see it. We know it was a condensed preseason because there were only three preseason games since there was an added regular season game. Mm-hmm. Two attack of Iloa went down. Carson Wentz, I never heard of this. Carson Wentz somehow rolled both his ankles on the same tackle. That's unheard of. That's a new, even, I, it don't get much more injury prone than that. I, bro, when I saw that, I, I was confused at first. Yeah. Uh, like, how you roll both the ankles? I, again. Did I read the article wrong? Like, yeah. <laughs> it don't get much more confusing than that. Uh, Tyrod Taylor left the game. Andy Dalton left the game. We saw Ryan Fitzpatrick in week one leave the game. A lot of quarterbacks getting hurt these first couple of weeks. Back to your point about Cam. Cam might be getting a call from somebody. Now, yes, absolutely. Now, all right, where do you think the best spot for Cam would be if we're talking about in Indianapolis, we're talking about uh, in, 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 in Houston with the Texans, Miami, if, if Tua can't go, uh, or even, you know, Washington? Um, Washington for fit makes sense because he knows the coaching staff and he knows the offense. And Washington has some weapons. Uh, obviously, uh, scary Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson. They got some guys there. Personally, I love the fit with Indianapolis or Miami just because of how good those teams' defenses are. And so, you're not again, you're not expecting Cam to be MVP Cam. It's just come in here, stabilize things. Um, specifically with the Colts, I mean, you would be turning around and handing the ball off to Jonathan Taylor 20 times a game with that offensive line. So I, I like the fit there. Schematically, though, Washington does make a lot of sense if they feel that Tyler Henneke isn't the guy moving forward. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Washington is, and I don't, I don't, I don't think that they're looking at uh, Henneke as the, the starter moving forward, just because I feel like, um, you know, they, they gave Fitzpatrick that money. He's, he should be back at some point this season anyway. Um, but if I'm capping again, the, the connection with Ron Rivera, who we had his best season with um, MVP, mental Super Bowl, ultimately lost. Um, but I like that fit. Same thing with the Colts. The Colts are another team, you know, we've been speaking about for the last couple of years that are possibly a, a quarterback, a, a solid quarterback away from making a nice little playoff run. Um, they have the, the weapons at receiver. They have a, a solid running game. They have a pretty good defense um, led by a, a Leonard. Um, so either one of those situations, Miami, I know Miami has been, they have been really looking at Deshaun Watson and it was crazy because when I saw the injury to Tua, the first thing that came to, came to my mind was they're going to use this to go after Deshaun Watson. I agree. That's the first thing I thought, too. Yeah, because they've been talking about that for so long. And now it's like, all right, if it comes up that he has to miss, let's say, three to six weeks, now it's, now you go get Deshaun Watson. And it's like, OK, well, you know, two is going to be out for three to six weeks. You can't wait for him to come back because that could be the difference between you guys making it to the playoffs and not making it to the playoffs. And then if you have Deshaun Watson and you can bring him in, I mean, that's, a, that's an upgrade anyway at court. That's a huge upgrade at quarterback. So I don't think, you know, I mean, as far as he might be mad at the outs you know, off the field stuff that he's got going on right now, but if he's coming, if he comes in, and the Dolphins are winning and looking very good. You know, the fans, you know, kind of a lot of times they're going to let that, they're going to let that slide for now. Just because, you know, fans, sports fans, they like to focus on when, 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 when the team is winning and they're doing good, you know, you kind of let certain, you know, things slide. And since right now there's, there's, there's not been anything proven in, in a court of law, technically, you know, still kind of got to give Deshaun Watson the benefit of the doubt until he actually has his day in court. And once he, if he's proven guilty or whatever of, of the charges, then you can kind of reassess that thing and look differently. But technically right now he hasn't been proven guilty of anything. So if he's on your team and your team is winning, you know, most likely you're going to look past that because it's like, hold on, we, 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 we going to the playoffs. Wait, we, we don't, we don't run the first round match. We don't hold on. We in the, you know, if, if Deshaun Watson, Gets that would was having to go to the Dolphins and get them to a Super Bowl. I don't think anybody's gonna be complaining <laughs> until maybe after the Super Bowl when he goes to trial because the trial's supposed to be around February. But during that run, they're gonna be rocking with him. 
Absolutely. And I think teams have already been doing their intel on them. That's why the, the Eagles tried to make the trade. Because um, if you're the Eagles, there's no way you make that trade if you really think he's looking at serious jail time or jail time at all, because you're not just going to make that investment. Um, but I, I agree with you from the standpoint of if you're the Dolphins and he can take you to that next level, you do it. You know, the NFL, it gives you a very short window to be competitive. Um, let's not fool ourselves and think like, oh, you're going to build something and five years from now, you're going to be great. Most times it doesn't work out that way because of injury and because of salary cap restriction. You know, you just can't build a dynasty in that, in that fashion. And if you're Brian Flores, you're in year three with Miami. Yeah. Year one, you shocked some people. They thought you were going to just tank. You end up winning like four games. Year two, you came out the gate strong with Ryan Fitzpatrick. You shocked people, but then you changed the tour and Tua struggled. He only won one game as a starter last year. So now you're in year three. It is make a break, I think, for Brian Flores and for Tua there because if you're the Dolphins, we took a gamble on you. You came out with a hip injury. We took a gamble. You didn't really work out last year. Now through two weeks of this season, we've only scored 17 points through two weeks. Yeah. And if the Buffalo Bills are the big bad boys of that division, the Bills have been stomping on y'all the last couple of years. I mean, let's not forget they almost hung 50 points on them at the end of last season, and now they come out now and beat you 35 nothing. Yeah. You got to somehow close that gap, and two, it may not be the answer. So I think they make that call, and they have a long conversation internally about what is it going to take to really make the move. And if you're the Dolphins, you may have to feel like, look, he's the missing piece. We got a good defense. We got some weapons on the outside. We drafted a great young wide receiver. And the only thing we're missing is the quarterback who can put this all together. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I, listen, I wouldn't be shocked if the news comes out that uh, Tua has to miss an extended period of time if the Giants uh, – excuse me, if the Dolphins don't put a, a, a trade package together and try to bring Deshaun Watson um, over to uh, to Miami, um, even with the with – the, with Tyrod Taylor being a little bit banged up, who I feel really bad for because this kid just cannot catch a break. Can't catch a break, man. Fortunately, I th he's, he's, he's still going to be good with the Texans just because there's nobody that's on his level. I mean, Sean Watson's obviously, but he's just not going to play. And they still have him listed as an active anyway. Um, but, yeah, man, if they if they can do it, why not do it? I, if I'm the Dolphins and I can get uh, Deshaun Watson and now I have the perfect lane to actually go and do that, you know what I mean, and get away with it, and it's not like, well, you know, it's a confidence shaker for Tua just because, you, bro, you got, if you're going to be out for six weeks, we can't wait. Yeah, we got to make the move. We can't sit back. The division is too competitive. Patriots are a playoff team. Buffalo's a playoff team. If we wait six weeks, we might be out the race already. Yep. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. 